Tell you about this is video from Easley, a couple who say they had an unexpected guest in their backyard. We've gotten a lot of reports lately about sightings of this same bear around the Easley area. DNR says, of course, it's more kind. Look at him getting up in that bird feeder. It's something you do not want out if you don't want these curious creatures around. And only on Fox, we're talking to the couple who tells us that bear has stopped by three times in the last week. Wow, <laughs> all to the same house. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer joins us live tonight in Easley and Brooklyn. We're told that bear also spotted on a golf course. That's right, this bear spotted all around Easley, and some golfers actually spotted the bear here on Smithfield's golf course last week, and we've heard of multiple sightings all around this area. And you might be surprised, but DNR says this is actually pretty common around the Pickens and Oconee County areas. We have seen deer, raccoons. One time we had a wild boar back here. We had everything. We had turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dear Everything. Raymond and Linda Kish live in Hamilton Park in Easley. Their property backs up to the woods, and they say it's not uncommon to spot wildlife outside. But they didn't expect their most recent visitor. We have a, a morning room right there, and we looked out, and he, and he was actually uh, up on the bird feeder, and we thought, oh my goodness. A large black bear spotted multiple times around Easley, visited their house three times last week. They say he didn't bother them, but was on a mission to find food. When I first saw him, it scared me because I wasn't expecting to see a big black bear in my backyard. So it did scare me at first, but he was just so gentle and docile. He didn't, he didn't threaten anybody or do anything. He just went about trying to find food. DNR says bear sightings are extremely common in this area this time of year. They say they're often spotted in neighborhoods searching for food. The Kishes say the bear ate from their bird feeders, even taking a few of the feeders back into the woods. Over there, he snapped those poles, those metal those poles, poles, right in yeah. half. He pulled snapped them down them. and snapped them right in half. They took down the bird feeders for a few days, and the bear stopped coming around. God put them here to be taken care of. They're his creatures, so mm -hmm. we really love taking care of them, but, but not that big. We like the birds. We'll stick with the birds, not the bears. <laughs> well, DNR says they get a lot of calls about this this time of year. They say the best thing to do is to keep the food away from them. They say people should take down bird feeders and keep their trash cans tightly shut, and usually the bears will go away. Reporting live in Easley, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.